Today, we'll teach you five ways to protect the ball. Let's go. So, obviously, football is about scoring goals, but you can only score goals when you have the ball. So when you finally get it, you want to make sure that you protect it at all costs so you can keep the ball and finally score some goals. So that's what we'll teach you today. But what about the boots, Jay? Say what? The boots, what are they? Ah, ultra sweet, aren't they? And you can buy them on unisportstore.com right now in the link up there or in the description. First up, we have the body block, which is probably the thing you all expected to see in protecting the ball, which is where you put your body between the opponent and the ball. And it's, of course, a super awesome thing if you're a big muscular guy like this. Now, but even if you're skinny like me, it actually works. Because the key here is to go down in your knees, spread them out, get a wider stance here, which means that you get a better balance, but also you get a lower center of gravity, you get closer to the ground, meaning that you're harder just to tip over just like that. Now, another key thing is that when Marco starts leaning into me here, right, I lean back because that means instead of if I'm here and he starts to push me, I'm easier to push off balance. Here, by leaning into him, I kind of absorb all the pushes, all the power coming into me. And finally, you can see that I use my arm, my big strong, I use my arm, right? Because doing so, I don't have to look where Marco is all the time. I can actually feel it. So if he decides to be clever and move around, I can feel that he's going there. If he goes back, boom, okay, now I switch. I constantly keep my body between him and the ball. And if Marco really wants the ball, maybe he's just gonna like push me away. If he does it too hard, I win a free kick. So put your body between the opponent and the ball, use the body block, just might work, even if you're small. No, no, my ball, my ball. Ah, precious. But sometimes you don't want to get into that physical battle. And in that case, this one is absolutely brilliant. Because if a ball is coming towards you, but you can see that ah, there's a defender sneaking up on you and you don't want to get into the tackle or the physical battle, well, you might as well just let it roll. See, if the pass is coming in, what you do here is you just make a body feint that way. Hopefully that fixates the defender. He or she puts his body weight in that direction where the ball is coming from. But if you let it roll, you buy yourself a second or two and a few meters of free space where you can actually keep the ball and shuffle it around to your teammates. The important thing here, guys, is that you just make sure that there's actually open space in behind you so you don't just let the ball roll to an opponent because that's the exact opposite of what we want to do here. We want to protect it by letting it roll, yeah? three is the side roll, which is great if it's already too late and the defender is close to you, either behind you or to your side. What you want to do here is to keep the ball away from them and keep it moving by using the sole of your foot to roll it sideways or roll it forward. Now, the important thing here, guys, is that you don't just straight turn your back against them. It might feel like the most natural thing to do because you, you want to keep them away, right? But instead, you want to turn your side towards them. That means more body mass, especially with my wide shot. I can't do that. But there's more body mass, more distance between the defender and the ball. And also, again, you can use your arm to shield them, feel where they are. So if you go forward, it's gonna make you more agile because all of a sudden you can just turn around and you have the initiative. So face them sideways, roll the ball with the sole of your foot, and then you're gone. Protecting the ball all the time. Number four, return to sender. Now, if the defender is annoyingly close to you or you just don't know where he or she is, if there's two defenders behind you, what's going on? The safest way to protect the ball is if you get the pass, to simply just pass it back where it came from. You can see that teammate, you've got no clue what's going on back there. And guys, there's nothing worse than receiving a ball thinking, I'm gonna turn and do a little bit of magic, only then to just get smacked down and to get dispossessed. So if you are in doubt, play it safe, return the ball to where it came from. And if you then turn around and see that there's acres of space that you could have turned into and made some magic, it's okay to get a little bossy with your teammates and let them know the next time they should open their mouths and tell you when the ball is coming towards you that you can actually turn and do said magic. So if you are in doubt, return to sender, take it from there. And number five, the radar, because scanning is important, guys. Now, of course, your teammates telling you turn or back might be the difference between keeping the ball or losing it. 
But no matter if your team's communication sucks or not, it's important that you know that scanning the pitch, knowing what's going on around you, is the best way to protect and keep the ball. If you look at the pros, they scan the pitch all the time because by doing so, you're aware where the safe areas are, where you have open teammates that you can then utilize to keep the ball if you all of a sudden get the ball and come under a bit of pressure. And also, of course, you know where the opponents are, where you shouldn't go. So it's a bit of a way of anticipating the danger by being one step ahead so you always know what to do if you get the ball right now. So turn your head into a flipping radar and start scanning. So there you have them, my friends, five ways to protect and keep the ball. And frankly, I just think you should start hardwiring these into your brain right now, because honestly, knowing these, I think will make you a much better and more effective footballer. So start working on it. But guys, what should we teach you next? As always, you should let us know in the comment section right down below. And then of course, as I said before, make sure you go visit unisportstore.com if you need new boots or new training apparel. Everything is in the link right over there. Of course, also, please make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on to join one of the biggest and best football families on YouTube. And finally, if you wanna keep improving as a footballer, check out the playlist in the corner of your screen. It's absolutely awesome, so go do that as well. And with those words, I'll be signing off. A cheerio.